Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. I'm playing an EGIK WM France deck uh, G456 game with Thatcher, Tet Style, and Damba32. Alright, so let's take a look at this first pile. Uh, probably the Ooh, there's Animal Breeder and there's Field Doctor. I guess Field Doctor is a bit better than Animal Breeder. Uh, I don't first pick Field Doctor too often. Um, I guess I've tried it a couple times recently and I just haven't gotten it to go all that well. Um, but yeah, uh, Animal Breeder is, uh, is good. I guess I could look at Blackberry Farmer and question whether Blackberry Farmer is good. Uh, but I think probably the pick is just uh, Field Doctor here because it's the, it's the card that's best in a va in a vacuum. Uh, Countryman or Surf coming back with Field Doctor are both fine ways to use the early fields, get some crops in the ground. So first pick Field Doctor it looks like. All right, uh, so I've got Sailboat Constructor, which lets me get crops. But what I'm looking at here is Veggie Lover because Veggie Lover is actually like a nice, really nice payoff for getting my early fields and then getting lots of crops really early and trying to get, you know, seven vegetables and 11 grain. If I could do that, then Veggie Lover can be worth a lot of points. Um, the other card I'm looking at here is Humble Farm Boy. Uh, with Field Doctor, usually you only family growth one time, so I might not have that many actions, which means I might not play that many cards. So Humble Farm Boy is something that we could consider. But uh, I like Veggie Lover here. Yeah. So now, uh, yeah, we're probably taking Surf or Countryman out of our first pile. And if we see a better way of getting crops, great. But if we don't see a better way of getting crops, we probably play those three occupations and uh, try to compete for the humble farm boy points and uh, yeah try to have a really pretty farm lots of points from crops All right. We're just waiting for Ted Stop to get into the game. They've already seeded, but just said they had to AFK a bit, so. I think I uploaded the wrong video. I uploaded two uploaded two videos in the same day, or two videos that were duplicates on YouTube. I did not mean to do that, obviously. I'm wondering. Did I intend to upload something else?
Uh, what do we got here? Trailblazer. Trailblazer's okay. Thing is, I kind of just want to plow one field a bunch of times. So it sounds like Damba might have got Animal Breeder. Um, okay. What am I supposed to be taking here? Hey, Rilo Kren. Um So we've got Wheat Farmer, but Wheat Farmer might wheel. We've got Gelder. I think Gelder is pretty good. If I'm doing a pretty farm, uh, th uh, I might have the actions to support Gelder. I think, though, the pick is probably Trailblazer. If I set up my Trailblazer Countryman or Trailblazer um, Surf, not Surf, um, uh, get a grain whenever you sow, that's, uh, I'm getting extra value out of these actions. And the food is expensive for Trailblazer, but if I'm getting a crop each time I plow, then that offsets the food cost. Welcome, Vincent and Fofo2020. Hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, wow, overachiever and mayor candidate. Um, not going to take veggie importer. Or not going to take lumen. Guys, in case you haven't heard this, the veggie importer, I think, looks like lumen. <laughs> um, probably not seed seller. Although seed seller would be good with countrymen. But I think I'm just I think I have to take overachiever here, right? Overachiever is a great card. I can't pass on overachiever. So I'm really hoping um, if I could get a miner that helps me get on family growth even without room, like um, oh, sleeping corner would be perfect. Sleeping corner would be the absolute perfect card. Would be the absolute perfect card. Uh, surf. It is surf. Why did I think it was not surf? But Countryman is gone, so that's a bit of a worry. That's a bit of a worry. But yeah, I'll definitely take Surf here. Because with Trailblazer, I want to beef up my So Bake action. Uh, Pig Breeder looks good here. I could take Sycophant. You know what? Sycophant does attack the Countryman. And Countryman did get taken out of that pack like pretty early. Uh, I wonder if Thatcher maybe has... Field Watchman and and Thatcher took field uh, country countrymen with Field Watchman, but then it would be hard to imagine that Thatcher would not also take Sycophant to keep it out of the draft. Although he would have had to pass on something a lot better. So I could take Pig Breeder. I'll take the Sycophant. Attacking something like. Not Synergizer, but attacking something like uh, Field Watchman or Morning Trader would be nice, especially because I want to get value out of crops this game. So I don't want to be competing with other people who are doing it. How can I abandon Lumen? <laughs> I'm, not, uh, I'm not taking advantage of him, put it that way. I'll say that way. I'm not taking advantage of Lumen. <laughs> I'm not putting him to work. So my only issue is I have to figure out how I'm going to feed. But I mean, I can eat three raw grain. So if I play Trailblazer round one, Surf round two, that means I'm taking the So Bake action three times. I'm second action So Baking round two, three, four. So that means I'm play paying one food for an Auk, three food for Fields, so that means I'm going to need a food action, and then I probably have to eat one or two raw grain. Wheat Farmer looks great here. Um, yeah. looks The hand looks really good. hand looks really good. 
So I don't need granary. Winter Pond is very good. We've got Turnip Field. Turnip Field is quite nice with uh, with Trailblazer. Let's me fill up all my fields quite easily. Uh, Bamboo is good. Winter Pond is good. I think I'm taking Turnip Field and hoping to wield one of Bamboo or Winter Pond. Those are the best. The rest of the hand is not really that good for me, actually. So Turnip Field for the free sow action is the pick, absolutely. Yeah, Sleeping Corner would be perfect. Um, we could probably make something like carpet work because I should be able to get wood and fence at a reasonable time. Um, something that lets me use my grain. Also, with Wheat Farmer, I can really get a lot of grain, even with Veggie Lover. So something that lets us use grain would be nice. Like, obviously, there are not too many hands that don't like... Um, Rum Distillery, because Rum Distillery is a fantastic card, but yeah, obviously Rum Distillery would be good. Early Veggie would be nice. Yeah, an Early Veggie would be nice, but I think I'll probably just convert with Surf once or twice. Like, take grain three times and take Trailblazer with Field Doctor. Yeah. Yeah, the thinking is I ha my opening pack had Surf and Countrymen, so I was quite sure that I was going to get one of those back. So I figure I'll just spam the So Bake action. It's a little less reliable. But I think it's uh, it's quite nice with my veggie lover to get lots of crops. I have to hope so bake is in round four. Yep, I do. I mean, even if it is round four, the thing about Trailblazers, I can always play Country Doc. I can play Field Doctor before it's ready, and then Trailblazer can trigger at the start of the next round. I don't think I really need popcorn, honestly. I'm planning to use Surf, so I'll take Driftwood here. Yeah, I don't need Twilleries. Yeah, if Sobake is for, obviously I'm hurt quite a bit. So what are the odds we still see Rum Distillery? Pretty low. I'm trying to think, what miners? What are the miners that we might realistically get past that I'd really like to see? Well, I'm still hoping Bamboo comes back. What else? I don't know. Rum Distillery, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Rum Distillery was my call out in round seven. Um, would Bounty be good with this hand? Bounty could be okay. Um, I do have Overachiever, so I could maybe consider building the guilds. Veggie Lover obviously has a point on it. Uh, but if I got Bounty, I'd really want something that also provides bonus points with another miner. 
Um, what else? I mean, but I, vegetable source is not super important because I think I will play surf. Uh, what else? I mean, Abandoned Willow is always fun with Trailblazer and with Field Doctor. I don't think this hand looks all that likely to play it. Well, I mean, it would play it for the four wood. It wouldn't necessarily play it for the uh, double building rooms to grow again. Veggie Lover has points. Festival Hall would be perfect. Sofa, w yes, Sofa would be good. That's a good call out for sure. Yeah, Sofa would be really good. Okay. Imported timber and engineering. So imported timber kind of says drop trailblazer, just focus on field doctor and plow one field four times in round one, and then play imported timber round five on start player before you play field doctor. Um, is that something I wanna do? It would, it would be pretty good. It would be pretty good. Um, Trees for the Citizens is not bad. Um, it's not bad at all. It is po Trees for the Citizens is, a, is the most points here. Imported Timber making me ab abandon Trailblazer is a bit sad, but it's very reliable. It'll, it'll be very consistent. Uh, it will be very consistent. I just don't want occupation round one, and then I'm I'm good to go basically. Makes overachiever quite a bit worse. But then maybe I just play two o or three ox, which are field doctor, veggie lover, wheat farmer. Like I could do something like that. Let's try it. We might wheel engineering as well. Although the odds that I play both are pretty low. But you never know. If so, bake is round one, don't go for the engineering line. We'll see. Like, if so, bake is round one, I can do it. I'm not locked into it. Um, yeah, Large Sun Hat is, I mean, if I'm going to be plowing regularly, Large Sun Hat is good. Uh, the thing is, I'm probably not really, I don't, hoping not to plow regularly. Um, I mean, ceramics is a thing. Ceramics is absolutely a thing. It's ceramics is, ceramics is if things go well with Overachiever, Surf, Trailblazer, Ceramics is perfect. If things go badly, then Large Sun Hat. Because if someone else plays Large Sun Hat, they're competing with me for the plow action, which is annoying. I'll take Ceramics here. We'll, we'll hope that things go well. This this hand probably needs some things to go well. Winter Pond Wield, which is fantastic. Winter Pond is great. I guess I can take Popcorn. Pop popcorn is the I didn't play Surf backup card. Foresight with Overachiever, yeah. Imported Timber, round four or so is just okay. Yeah, it's only, it, yeah, you're right. It doesn't do that much. You're right about that. I'm more thinking Imported Timber is the, I didn't play Trailblazer round one and I didn't, and So Bake doesn't come out in round two, by round two. So like if I, if I don't get Auk in round one, for Trailblazer, and so Bake doesn't flip in round two, then I can go maybe an imported timber line, and that would be okay. Yeah, the thing about Overachiever, I think it makes me pretty dependent on round 12 family growth without room flipping. So much so that I probably start player round 11 into start player again round 12 if it doesn't flip. Because on a three, two room house, three family members, I will want every family growth action I can possibly get. 
Which is why I was saying, talking so much about something that lets me get on family growth without room, even if it's occupied. I also have to remember there was a humble farm boy out there, but that was the only four wood occupation that we saw. We don't, did not see any other four wood ox. Uh, engineering did not wheel. So that's interesting. So there might be somebody playing with engineering. Uh, Trees for the Citizens is the best card, but it seems like it's unlikely to be worth playing in this hand. However, I don't have too much else to take here. Uh, food Storehouse is quite expensive for what I'm going to be trying to do, and uh, Investments is a fairly mediocre card. So Trees is the best card by a decent amount. Maybe we build uh, two major improvements with wood costs, so the well and the joinery, those are the only two, and then trees is two points. Because, yeah, the odds that I play imported timber are pretty low. Head style 5 of minor, which allows me to... Yes. All right, so we start first in round one. Ooh, moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Are we optimistic? All right, chat, optimistic. Put a one if you're optimistic, put a zero if you're not optimistic. Optimistic? Hmm. So Sid's optimistic, so three to one. All right, we're gonna be optimistic, guys. Let's do it. Yeah, I probably need some things to go my way to win this game anyways. We know that somebody might have gotten a pretty good um, animal breeder hand. Imported timber line is not very good. Um, it could be okay. Like I think with imported timber, with imported timber, I'm envisioning round five start player into field doctor after plowing in each of the first four rounds. Now the problem is we've passed farmer's straw hat, so we might have someone messing with our plow actions. Ten. 
Take Reed and Sovia popcorn. I need a sew action to do that though. <laughs> right? What's the dream? The dream is actually I get expensive occupation. That's the dream. That we have three wood into two clay here. Or three wood into two wood here. And that I get to expensive oc play surf. I'd be pretty happy if that was the case. I could also play Sycophant since I do know that Country Doctor or that um, Countryman got taken pretty highly. So I was thinking it's probably something like Field Watchman. Two clay? The sheep are there, so we could do something with the sheep. Plow manually a couple times. Ah, I, I'm really trying to avoid plowing manually. It seems like it's just a concede button with this game if I plow manually after playing Trailblazer. I, I get what you're saying where it's it's like I paid one extra food for one field in the worst case scenario, but probably I want to wait for so big to flip. I'm going to need to take food eventually anyways, so I think it's not atrocious. Head style is gonna start player attic. Breaking the first rule. What are the what are Lumen's rules? Lumen's four rules of resource lender. Can anyone tell me? Lumen's four the four laws of resource lender. Actually, Lumen's in the game, so he's he's very much judging Ted style right now. I know that I know this to be true. He's out there getting ready to import some vegetables. Lumen is playing in a Terra Mystica tournament. Oh, he no, he's in uh, he's in the draft. Lumen. Or sorry, Sid. Take one read, lend as often as you can in stage one and two. Yep. And the other law is don't, uh, don't, uh, don't do, don't play, do anything other than take resources after playing resource lender. Like don't play other occupations, don't start player, just take as many resources as you can. Here's Major Minor. So it's not so bake, but we do have access to the sheep. So I think what I do is play an occupation and then build the fireplace. Still sounds like they've never played Resource Lender before, which is odd because Ted Stall's a very experienced player. Yeah. Just never see, don't see that card very often.
One nice thing about taking imported timber knowing that I'm not getting sheep swept that way at least. True. I'm going to start player stone tongs. Uh, Farmer's straw hat hasn't come out yet, which is a little funny. Play the two clay fireplace here. And we're really hoping she, the so bake ac action flips around three. Show me so bake. It is so bake. All right, so we can't plow without food. So we want to take food with our first action. So I'm pretty sure my first action is taking the sheep here. And then second action is sow and plow field. Large sun hat, thank you. Huzzah! That's right. And then round four, four clay would be fine. Four clay because that with an overachiever we can build the clay oven and then um, Play ceramics potentially. I have to say this is going very well. Fingers crossed, fall fall. Fingers crossed. You are right to express the dangers of this potential line. That was correct, absolutely. So I can afford to play an occupation in round four, but if I do that, then I have to eat a raw grain to uh, plow at the start of round five. So probably, yeah, four clay and then sow as my two actions. Also the um, large sun hat didn't come out. So who took countrymen? Does it does that mean someone took field warden because of countrymen? Countrymen unblockable vegetable jump to plow so. Yeah, could be that. Oh, the clay is all gone. Hmm, I really wanted the clay. Uh, I think what I do, I don't, I really don't care for the wood. I don't need the wood for a little bit still. So I think what I do is I play an occupation. I can play overachiever here. Well, you know what? I could play field doctor here. I think playing field doctor here is fine. So bake is safe. Field doctor has to come out anyways. Overachiever is a bit of a luxury. Whereas Field Doctor, obviously I can't grow without the Overachiever action. So I'll have to eat a raw grain to, uh, to afford to plow, but that's okay. Food is a problem, yes. 
probably gonna have to take two sheep round five anyways, right? Thing is, I really want a good clay action here, and four clay just or two clay just does not do it for me, right? So this way I'm swapping when I'm playing it, and this way I can take four clay in round five. Yeah. Reed stone food. I don't really need the reed for a long time. The stone is useful with overachiever, but I don't need the reed for a long time. And one stone on its own is not really enough because I still need another, I still need a clay action if I take reed stone food. Thatcher announced extensive resume and then was like, uh, <laughs> I'll read stone food actually. Trying to overachieve the clay oven. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. No problem. Also, it looks like Lumen's not coming out to play. I guess he still could. Most likely from Ted style. But Domba or Thatcher... No, D yeah, Domba's not going to. Yeah, Ted style could, br could bring Lumen out. Did I spend a food to sow? Oh, I wasn't supposed. Oh, that's why I have no grain. I was like, where'd all my grain go? I got confused. I got Trailblazer and um, Surf confused. There we go. I was like, I was supposed to. I was confused by that because I was like, I'm supposed to have one grain remaining. All right, that's much better. Two food H. There we go. Yes. Thank you for the catch. That's what I screwed up, is I paid a food for my sew action, which I got I got these two conf confused, obviously. <sighs> Ted Stahl ended up taking day labor. So no lumen today. If family growth is not round five, I can consider not so baking this round and uh, two sheep for clay. Thatcher, what's up? What's up, Thatcher? Let round five not be family growth. Um, yes. It's Renault. All right, I can consider not sewing here for sure. Yeah, Ted Stahl and Thatcher are playing pretty slow for stage one. I'll grow second. Yep, so long as Domba protects it. He's not guaranteed to, but he probably will.
So what I could do is four clay so here and then take the three sheep in round six. Although the sheep are probably more at risk than the the so action, certainly. So the so action is the thing I can delay. Yeah. The problem is the sheep at six is a lot better than the sheep at two. Four clay overachiever. I don't have food for overachiever right now. Yeah, I guess I probably have to take the sheep and over... Well, I'll take the sheep and clay, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure, honestly. Overachiever feels like a bit of a luxury at this point. Domba doesn't start player, I can start player turnip field. Ah, yes, turnip field. Yep, that's a good point. Pretty sure Domba will, since that's your build. I bet Domba has um, that reno card, that free reno card. Domba's got baby sling. Okay, well, I definitely have to sew this round then. I have to sew because Domba. Oh, Ted Style took the four clay. That makes me sad. Um, so two sheep into so bake. Absolutely. Because Domba is going to make the uh, family growth action available. No four clay is sad. Yeah, it's very sad. Thatcher's got Child Psych. Pretty good. Definitely going to be able to get three points out of extensive resume. Overachiever is dead. With no clay, it's difficult to play any major improvements with Overachiever. Field Doctor is sad to see Baby Sling, generally because everybody grows a lot faster. But you know what? It's gonna it, it'll let me grow without having to start players, so that's not so bad. growth. So I play Driftwood or probably Winter Pond actually. I kind of need the food. Winter Pond on family growth. Unless I want to Galaxy Brain it and take six wood here. And the only way that Ted Style jumps me is with a um, uh, build room and start player action, but I'll probably wheel one of the good one of the four wood actions. So could have taken veg there for veggie lover. Um, I want to so I want to get grain as many times as I can because I want like. The thing is, once you start turning your grain into veg vegetables with sycophant, then eating grain really comes with like a pretty heavy tax. So I really want as many grain as I can for a while. Like I'm going to do another so bake action either way. And if I'll probably do two more so bake actions realistically, and that will like I'll convert vegetable both times there. And I should be able to get up to six vegetables at least doing that. Because if I sow and convert one, um, 
sow and convert one and then harvest that fully and then re-sow and convert another one and sow all those three then I end up with six and that should be fine can play consider playing wheat farmer honestly wheat farmer is like food at this point which um, which is nice Thatcher is playing some ox animal breeder blackberry farmer and then major minor cooking hearth yeah so animal breeder was in my opening pack and then blackberry farmer there of course It is a lot of food, yeah. You're right about that. We also haven't seen Humble Farm Boy yet. We have not seen Humble Farm Boy yet, so something to think about. I will take a four wood action here either way. Yeah, wheat farmer is kind of, is almost like two food, two food in a grain each harvest, something like that. Two food each harvest is pretty good at this point. Looks like an efficient field doctor game will just lose because it's effectively round five family growth. Hmm, maybe. Does Domba have a stone house combo? I'm thinking that uh, something like Wealthiest European would be quite scary here. Because he can run out of stone and then get the resources for a stone room. And I believe Rock Pyramid was in the draft. So yeah, it could be a very, very good Wealthiest European game if, if Rock Pyramid was in the draft. And actually Stone Tongs. The fact that he actually played Stone Tongs might be an indicator as well. Might just be trying to set up Rock Pyramid without Wealthiest Euro. That's very possible. Just build a stone room manually. Ooh, Farm Steward. Oh, man. Is that GG Damba? That might just be GG Damba. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Very, very good for Damba. Getting engineering was amazing for Dampa, absolutely. Very nice for Dampa. Well crafted. Consider not singing there. Um. Hmm. I think the action seems important for feeding. Thatcher taking four food traveling players over the two sheep. Well, I will probably take two sheep then on my turn. Mm, do I need the two sheep or should I try to get three sheep? Because if I play wheat farmer, it's net plus two food here. And then I eat a sheep. So I'd have to eat... 
I eat a sheep and play wheat farmer, I have to eat four raw grain, which means I go into stage three with zero grain. So I can't, uh, actually winter pond. So I could leave one grain behind in stage three. Stage three, I'm gonna be needing to bake grain. So that seems bad. So yeah, take the sheep here. Thatcher's growing anyways, he is growing, yeah. But I'm thinking, I, do I, I'm trying to decide how I'm feeding here. What are my last two moves? And they're probably take sheep and then wheat farmer. That's interesting. Interesting stable placement, a little unusual. Oh, I see this tournament on um, on Twitch. Let's see, are they streaming Lumen's game? They are streaming Lumen's game. Looks like he's got Chaos Magicians. Actually, the game might not end before us. I can host it at the end. Uh, the sheep are safe, right? Because he's going to grow. Yeah, the sheep are safe. So I can play my Auk here. Thomas says, if I have green seller, this is GG. Thatcher's got rock pyramid. Oh, well, that makes me breathe a little easier. That it's Thatcher with rock pyramid and not Domba. Thatcher passed on engineering. Uh, so I'm guessing Thatcher might, rock pyramid might just have been a block pick for Thatcher. Let's start building the clay oven. Stable but no ac attic is kind of un unexpected. It is a little odd, yeah. Take the sheep here. Take a food, my food from Winter Pond. Five food and a G feed six, and I end the harvest with three grain. Domba probably takes the six wood, so I'll take the four wood, and I'm hoping to wheel the five clay. Draft green seller quick. <laughs> Mason's apprentice? For whom? Not for Domba with Farm Steward, I don't think. For Thatcher, maybe, but I don't see how he's getting wood, reed, and stone. That just seems like way too much. And his first pick with Child Psych anyways, so it doesn't Thatcher does not have Mason's apprentice. Uh, three stone in round nine would be nice for the stone oven. So if I could five clay and then start player, maybe five clay and then start player driftwood. How does green seller interact with feet farm wheat farmer? 
Uh, the way great, what Grain Cellar says is you can take all the grain. It doesn't say harvest all of them. It says take all the grain and put them in your supply. So there's no interaction there. It's just the Grain Cellar where functions normally. But Wheat Farmer does give you a ridiculous amount of grain, which you can then resell, and then they all stay on your field. So then you get even more and more and more grain. Yeah. Damba takes the five clay, unfortunately. Don't really want two clay. Hmm. I like start player into five or into three stone as my last move. So this could be a so bake action maybe. Hmm. I kind of need reed. Maybe I take two reed here, and then. Four clay, then my rounds next round are three stone, four clay, bake. That's my next round. I might be fine. Although, I need to get my vegetable in the ground, but I can do that in stage four. Yeah, my vegetable can go in in stage four. I just need, then it just need, means I need a sow action in round 14, which I have a turnip field, so. Get two veggie fields sown this harvest. I think setting up my f mm. I th oh, the stone go to Thatcher. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was hoping for those. That stinks. That really stinks. This is a bit of a rough game. Ted style playing Tide Mill. So with seed cellar, it's a grain and three food. Maybe I should play sycophant for some food. <laughs> I think I feed via veggie lover. Well, if this if I'm not gonna build the stone oven, yes. <laughs> I thought I was gonna build the stone oven. Damba's got countrymen. Okay, so I think I sow bake this round. Turn a grain into a veg and sow it. And then I'll eat, uh, uh, then I bake two grain. F4I. I think this is fine. I don't need to get two, I can get another veggie field sown in round 10. Keep 1G to sow again, but uh, maybe. I don't think so. I think my, fe my feeding in this harvest is okay. My feeding in round 9 is okay. I can set up Veggie Lover for round 11, I think. Thatcher plays Pig Breeder and then is going to start player Tuileries Garden. Uh, Tuileries Garden Rock Pyramid is weird. I think Rock Pyramid was just a block pick and just played it because it's free. I don't need much more wood, so getting driftwood out sooner rather than later is good. So playing driftwood this round would be nice. Zomba's going up to stone, it seems like. I wonder if Zomba has officer. What else? We, we saw a manservant, I think, in the draft. What? <laughs> Where is Thatcher's person? <laughs> uh... 
Thatcher, where is your person? <laughs> it's all the way out here. <laughs> oh, you guys can't see it because chat's covering it up. Yeah, you did say there's more to come, you're right. Well, he took two reeds, so that indicates he is going to build a stone room. But Rock Pyramid is in Thatcher's hand, so I don't know. Three wood. Three wood still on the board. What? Like, what happened here? <laughs> I don't understand what happened. <laughs> How does the person end up out there and you don't even take the three wood? <laughs> didn't surprise Domba didn't go for the Basque Maker's Workshop. Uh, it could still be, right? Ted Style is taking the grain again. So Sycophant could get me some food. So this is totally forgot attic. I mean, it's a free miner that gets you out of last. How badly do I want the two boar in round 10? I could start player and then fence. game is quite slow for how experienced the players are in it in the game. Ted Style fam Family Girls playing Dual Field. Damba's going to try to do Countrymen. Noble, okay. Yeah, Noble is excellent. Excellent. So Domba first pick Noble, second pick Farm Steward, or vice versa. So Ted Style's probably got something pretty good. Maybe Chief, maybe... I don't know what else could be. Yeah, probably Chief, I would guess. First pick Chief over Noble or Farm Steward, which is top. Probably farm over Farm Steward, maybe. Uh, I'm going to start player Driftwood. Chief over Farm Steward is crazy. Yeah, maybe, maybe something else that's good with a big house. There was, um, the free room card if you have five rooms. So I think I might Chief if I knew, if I was reasonably certain I was going to get House Builder back or whatever that card is. So probably first pick Noble. So what, what did Ted Style take over Farm Steward then? Noble Countryman?
Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. So Noble is going to give the countrymen unblockable plow, so... Yes. That, make, that makes sense, Fofo. I want stone. I actually quite want stone. The stone on the board is not very good though. Reed stone food pushes me towards the basket makers workshop, which is okay, but pick up my winter pond food here. I guess I could play veggie lover with this action. And then I eat, but then I eat two raw grain, which is kind of expensive. Maybe reedstone food is okay here and then go for the basket makers workshop. Five food G feed six. It's in the compendium. I know it says free, yeah, uh, with field warden, exactly. We had this come up uh, last night. It came up last night, Sid, so yeah, we, we already looked it up. Well, there's two stone, but I'll take the four wood. I need point ceiling, so the wood puts me towards joinery or stables. Dombus says third pick farm steward. We probably shouldn't be saying that. I think fence and so next round. Uh, you're probably on the delay, so fence and so this round you mean? Yeah. Thomas says he got farm steward third. So it's extra information, so I should kind of try to ignore it. So Thatcher first picked child psych over farm steward, which I think is probably fine. Uh, child psych is quite good. Uh, Ted style. What did Ted Style take over Farm Steward? I don't know. Uh, so Bake should be safe, so I'll fence with this move. And I'm not going to give myself space for any more... Actually, you know what? Do I need the point ceiling? Should I give myself space for more fields? It, do I want to pay one food for one point more times? That's the question. Uh, I... How many more times will I be able to do it is the other question. Like, I'm not going to get another so action. I guess I'll do one more. Yeah, let's. I'll give myself that option. I'll give myself the option of paying one food for a point more times. Yeah. Fence 15. Well, I have turnip field, so I have three spaces I can sow vegetables on. So, sowing on three vegetable spaces seems like it might be sufficient. Oh, also I didn't actually fence 15. I will get it next round, yes. So the, the question is, am I going to get it again after this? So basically I have to sow in round 12 to get it in round 13. Because after that I'm not going to have another chance to trigger it. Because I won't trigger it in round 12, and I won't trigger it in, ra uh, in round 14, so.
Why cripple animal capacity for one food? Well, I could build stables, right? And then my animal capacity is fine. Joinery is okay with trees for the citizens, I guess, but... It feels, feels kind of meh. I mean, continuing to put wood pressure on the animal breeder, and Domba is lacking on wood, and Tetstyle is lacking on wood, but I'm not really so worried about Thatcher. The person I'm playing against mostly is Domba at this point. So I guess putting wood pressure on Domba is a thing. The thing is, I'm guessing with Boundary Stones, Damba has some way of plowing. Well, aside from the noble countryman combo. Maybe it's just that. Damba picked up Gelder. So Damba's going to last move take, uh, take a cattle. One cattle, which is annoying. Because I want a pair of cattle. G to V, so bake one. Then I'll pay a food for an eye, round 11. Stop baking grain. Don't I want the grain for the plow at the start of round 11? And then also it gives me the food to play Veggie Lover round 11. I could eat sheep. Uh, I don't have that many actions. I really want to avoid eating the sheep if I can, because there's a chance that I don't take sheep again this game. If I'm building major improvements and going for family growth, I'm not going to have time to eat sheep or to take sheep again. And also the sheep is being taken quite aggressively because we have two players with cooking hers that are both very hungry. Thatcher is playing Truffle Digger. This is a pretty, yeah, pretty late Truffle Digger. Also has no boar. Domba going to try for the max boundary stones. <laughs> I'm looking at his field location and thinking, uh-oh, we've got a max boundary stones coming in. <laughs> Which would be kind of fun. Did I see all of Thatcher's miners? Uh, no. I, uh, oh, the three that he's played? Yes, we saw all three of them. Yeah. Damba gets the well. Start play player here, pumpkin trellis. <laughs> uh, maybe. Might be first pick up pumpkin trellis. Uh, I don't want to start. I don't want to play any of my miners, so I don't really want to start player here. If I read stone food first, then I could build. Then I could reno joinery and then start player trees.
But I'm, I want to play Veggie Lover this round, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the fact that I didn't get the clay oven or the stone oven is just kicking me in the butt. Because I don't have miners to play now. Yeah, I think maybe I can't read stone... F I think I can't start player this round. I think that's what I have to accept, that I just can't start player. I have to plan to start player round 12. Have I had a decent meal today? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Pumpkin Trellis seems a little odd with um, Animal Breeder. Like, there's a bit of an anti-combo there. Not real. I, I shouldn't say it's an anti-combo, but you don't get as much value, I think, if you're... Like, maybe you only Animal Breed twice, and you do Fence 4, and then you do the rest with Pumpkin Trellis, and that's fine. But, I mean, the fact that it's a free action with Start Player with a Miner that gives you a bunch of wood, that's obviously fantastic for Animal Breeder. But I'm just thinking about the fact that you have to fence a third time, most likely. Or you probably want to uh, fence a third time. Have to add pumpkin trellis to my ban list. Doesn't work anyways. Yeah, there's some some issue with the ban list. Ted Style Dual Field? I thought Ted Style played Dual Field ages ago. I'm confused. I am confused. Yeah, what Sid said. I think everyone is. That's why we're still playing with them in the game. <laughs> oh, it's just regular fencing for Thatcher. Regular fencing after taking wood, which feels bad with Truffle Digger. If we had a functionality to mix collections, that would be quite nice. That would that would make things a lot easier. Why am I building the joinery? I'll build the basket makers workshop here. Harvest, G, 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 and then V, G to six food. And eat a reed, probably yes. Doesn't look like anyone needs to take this reed, so this reed should go to five in round 13. 
like you need to read. Uh, I do have pump trees for the citizens, so a two point free miner is pretty nice. Especially with this hand where I need point ceiling. Especially because Domba's Gelder is just sucking up all the animals, so I'm not getting any benefit out of my easy fencing. Thomas says, I was thinking about Basque Weekers Workshop, now I've saved him, saved him brain power. <laughs> That's funny. How has pottery not been built in a ceramics game? Well, unfortunately, the guy who took ceramics was not able to get a four clay action in the first five rounds. Unfortunately. I, I, I went for the sheep instead. So going for the sheep was nice because obviously the sheep was good. But it meant that I missed out on the on the ceramics and the pottery, and it, it what it means it, I missed out on is the clay oven. So then I lost out on pottery. Stone got taken at two. Clay got taken very aggressively. Yep. Yeah, I think Damba's just taking food here. It looks like with his gelder. There's plow. So I feel marginally less bad. I need another sow action after this. I only have five vegetables. I need more vegetables. only have five vegetables first world problems yeah I need if I convert with veggie lover once more maybe twice more ideally I want to get up to nine vegetables for the optimal veggie lover oh winter pond food thank you I forgot about that thanks fofo There's two stone available, so I can take stone here. And then it gives me the option of building the joinery. There's, I could also build stables. The joinery turning on trees is nice. Uh, I could let the stone go to three and hope for stone oven, I suppose. The pottery is still there. But is Tetstal going to leave the stone oven? I don't know. I'll take the stone at two, I guess. Three sheep here. Mm. 
feel like getting a major is also like three point three sheep is two points directly, but getting majors is two point like getting a major is two points plus more. I think I need major improvements. Kind of feel like I need to take them away from Domba mostly because I'm just looking at all Domba's resources. If the sheep are there with my third move, I'll take them. Um, yeah, I feel like the truffle breeder should have come out way earlier because Thatcher needed to be taking wood aggressively all game. You should have way more wood, which is why I think the Truffle Digger needed to come out earlier. Like, probably I don't play Animal Breeder and Blackberry Farmer when I when he did. Probably I play Pig Breeder, Truffle Digger as my first two ox. He passed a six-wood action to, to take the first hearth, yep. Domba's got Hedgemaster. Hedgemaster's nice here. Could read stone food to turn on the stone oven, since it looks like Ted Style is going to go to a stone house directly. But the three sheep are nice. If we can get three stone and then a five read action, that's not bad. Whoops. Not plus food, minus food for a field. I would say that I don't think Thatcher has played it perfectly. I think I think there have been some missteps. I think that the black Blackberry Farmer food comes too slowly, so he had to spend too many actions getting the food for his child's sake. Dumba's saying he shouldn't noble a hedge master because he wants to plow so, I would imagine. just a slower berry picker that's true but it has the chance to scale which berry picker does not and especially when your awk after that is animal breeder and then you can get three boar really quickly like that seems good to me I think that would have been my goal for Thatcher Get to three, get to three boar as quickly as you can, and um, and then get three food every time you take wood, which is something you want to do lots of anyways with uh, animal breeder in hand. Domba's cards are way too good. Yeah, yeah, he's got four cards that I would be happy first picking, and four cards that I like better than textiles, uh, four or three. Maybe seed seller I take over countrymen, but the other three, the other, the other four are all better than seed seller.
You don't like Gelder? I think Gelder is pretty good. I mean, obviously it requires a certain game, game plan. But I think it really, um, really hurts, really hurts your opponents. And, uh, like, like I should, I should have way more animal points here. Rather than thinking about majors, I should be going for animal points. But the Gelder is killing, killing me. Now there's a downside for Domba, of course. The fact that he's not holding... I would say Gelder is not mediocre, but the fact that Damba is triggering Gelder without being able to hold the animals, I think that's mediocre. That's quite mediocre, I would say. Violence and suffering is his nickname. <laughs> So we're hoping to wheel two boar or two cattle. Domba's taken one of them. Ted style. Well, Ted style plow so. Thatcher prop. Thatcher might even plow over plow so. So Thatcher might not plow he plow so here. Might not even plow here if he thinks plow will wheel. No idea why Ted built stables. Yeah, <sighs> that's odd. Oh, Dampa plasoed with his first move. That seems weird. Does Noble specify just occupied, right? It doesn't say occupied by other players. Occupied, yeah. So we can double plasso here. His layout, his farm layout for um, boundary stones is not very good. His farm layout for boundary stones is quite bad, actually. But uh, I don't think it matters. You want to see his family growth without? Does he? He's got four family members. I might be thinking about noble plow family growth in the last round. But yeah, you could noble family growth without. And this way you get both here. Oh, baby sling. I forgot about baby sling. Of course. Yeah, of course he's going to noble family growth without. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah, I forgot about baby sling. You're right. So I'm hoping to get a so bake action in the last round. It's gonna get me a bit of food. It's gonna get me a bunch of vegetables, basically. The so bake action is the best way for me to get vegetables. Because any number of grain that I bake is grain vegetables that I don't have to eat with Veggie Lover. Domba says he never placed the well food. <laughs> That's funny. Mason for Tet style. So was the opening pack child psych Mason farm steward? 
What do I Ted Style first picked? Um, so there's no boar. If there was boar available, I would take that. I don't want to so bake here. I could take five reed, or I could build the joinery here. Even with ceramics, I don't have time to build the pottery, so I think I just build the joinery with this move. And then round 14, my actions are boar, reed, boar, reed, four wood, um, so bake. And you can sub four wood for family growth. Tet also passed Hedgemaster, so Chief makes more sense. Frick pit, first pick Mason, picking Farm Steward over Chief is tough. Yeah. Or I could play Tree for two points. Yep, that's a good call, good point. Um, how am I feeding here? All right, so I would need to leave one grain behind, and if I'm going to do a so bake action, then leaving grain is also good because it's food later. Um, I need to feed seven. I don't want to eat a wood if I don't have to, because I want to leave that wood for the point there. Definitely don't want to eat any vegetables if I can avoid it. Maybe eating three grain here is fine. No, I want to, well, maybe veggie, uh, converting for veggie lover here, is that the best thing to do? And then I can sow, and then I can bake for a grain next round, and then I don't have to convert with veggie lover again. So if I do that here, then I'm, I'm si paying a veg now to save it later. So veggie lover and a food to feed seven. It's probably a point either way. It's either a point from sheep or a point from from uh, veg. V from t oh, did I not harvest the V from turnip? Thank you. I think it doesn't really matter because I can't sew back on the turnip, but you're right. There's the bamboo. Oh, I wanted that bamboo. I wanted it. Fortunately, Tet Style had other ideas. So they're finally using Attic. Attic for one point at the stage in the game where wood might be more important than one point when you only have five wood and it makes a big change in how you fence. <laughs> uh, but bamboo helps. Bamboo helps. But even so, I guess they're just going to fence 10, right? Or take by four wood with their first move. Because they don't have too much else to do. Why is Domba not actually doing these actions and just calling them out? It's a little... Or did he actually do it? He might have actually done it. Oh, yeah, he's just, anou he's just announcing what he did because we didn't see it. That's fine. That's fine. 
Three stables is baffling. Yeah, the three stables is really weird. Hope Thatcher doesn't take three read to Reno with. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully he decides Reedstone food is... Hopefully the one food is relevant. And he's like, ah, oh, I better take the one food. Or maybe as a stone miner. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Open with five reed. Hmm. Let's see what comes around. If family growth is there, I have to think about family growth, I think. I guess Ted Style and Domba can't family grow, so it's just Thatcher. So Thatcher and I kind of want the same moves. Thatcher wants a read move. Yeah, you know what? Thatcher Thatcher will fence. Yeah. And Ted Style's going to fence. And Thatcher just bought... Bought everything except for wood. So he just bought the stone. Why did he buy the stone? The stone buying is weird. Is he going to build the pottery? I don't really get why he bought the clay. Buying the clay is super weird. Ted Style regularly fences. First move. Isn't so bake pretty important for Ted style? I feel like I can risk the read to get take the so bake. Because I think so bake looks like Ted style needs food and wants to sew onto their dual field. I think I'm going to do this and then I bake 3 grain. Uh, bake two. I want to keep one grain behind. So bake is too important, exactly. Yeah. is going to play politician. There's the read. Oh, he has to manually... Is he manually playing it? That doesn't seem right. Oh, he's saying he wants to play politician. Ah, I see. I think it's fine. No, he's playing it on occupation. He's saying he missed the family growth action. Oh, I see what he's saying. 15 grain after the harvest. Oh, because I miscounted. I was thinking I had 8 grain on my fields. I forgot that I had 10 grain on my fields. Is Ted Style saying he missed family growth round? So he should have he should have played that when Damba grew in round 13. So Thatcher's just missing, keeps miss, missing child psychology triggers. It doesn't matter. No, it's one food that doesn't matter. So Thatcher's last move is Reno Fence. So that means I get Family Growth. I get six Reed. Take the boar first. The six Reed is three points, the boar is two points, the four wood. So I'm gonna family growth. 
and trees is two points. So boar and trees are equivalent, and four wood. So I will take the six reed first. It's the most value, but but it's also the most likely to wheel. I guess it might get attacked. It's it's a three point move for the whoever's in second. If I'm in first, not not sure that I'm in first, but. I have Overachiever as a two-point action to play Trees for the Citizens. That's true. Yeah, good, good point. Good observation. Damba, which is Dance Ground on Start Player. And the boar is gone, so I'll take four wood. Last move, FG. Okay, harvest, G, 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 one, two, three veg, one, two, three grain, two, six points with veggie lover. Feed seven and two and a reed, sure just to keep lots of grain on my farm for fun. Er, 3G, 3G, 3V, 2, 6J. That's what I mean. All right, so whatever I score plus eight is my final. Fifty-eight, wow. Fifty-eight is an incredible score. Fifty-eight with no boar and a two-room clay house. Is that even right? That seems wrong. That seems like way too much. Four points in four categories, three points in two. I guess I have a max joinery and basket makers rick shop. Yeah. 58 is a great score. I don't know if it's enough to beat Damba. 15, 49 plus boundary stones and hedgemaster and gelder without breeding. We'll see. We'll see what Damba announces. 58 is incredible. Jeez. The Trailblazer Field Doctor combo was very good. I did not think I was hitting 58. Dombas is 56. Wow. I can't believe I beat Domba here. Wow. GG. Um... What did Field Watchman announce this? Oh, I need to turn S Chat on. Where is Thatcher's announced score? Did he say th like 39 or something? 39, yeah. Wow, GG. I guess my actions were just incredibly efficient. Needed so big to be not round not round four, but it was amazing, especially with Field Doctor. Yeah, it was a good game. It was a uh, nice game. Jeez. 
I mean, Veggie Lover, after first picking Field Doctor, you're just hoping for cards like Veggie Lover. You're really hoping for cards like Veggie Lover. Nice to get Family Growth without both rounds. Yes. Yes. Getting Family Growth with, was very important. Yeah. FG without was was really important for me. So the fact that I got start player round 12 was really important. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I think we're going to do another game. I'm going to take a short break, and uh, we'll set up another game, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Decision not to go for any overachiever. Any Honestly, it wasn't a choice to not go for overachiever. It was simply um, what the game... It, like, it wasn't really a decision. Because I was constantly saying, I'll try to get four clay, I'll try to get four clay, I'll try to get four clay. And it was never there. It was forced. Yes, exactly. Wheat Farmer was excellent. Yeah, Wheat Farmer has been a hero the last couple games, and you pick it up late. Is it my birthday today? It is my birthday today. Thanks for asking, Sid. I am 30. 3 zero, which is ridiculous. I can't believe that I'm 30. Um... Okay, I'm going to run a short ad and be right back and uh, we'll do another game. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video and uh, we'll be back shortly. Bye.